Welcome to episode 2 of Future Wrestling. I am Wayne Bates alongside my broadcast partner, Halsey. Uh, hey, hey, no, 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 no. You see, I'm doing a poor little make a kid wish uh, a favor, so I'm doing you a favor by being here. You can call me Mr. Bomb, okay? Wayne. Alright, Mr. Bommy. Uh, Mr. Bomb, I'm not your mommy. Don't call me Bommy. Alright, Mr. Bomb, but... Let's get down to ringside because we're first match is underway. We're in Chicago, Illinois, home of Future Wrestling. And actually, we're going to start off with Sting coming out talking about the future of Future of Wrestling. Sting's a bum, Wayne. Uh, why is he here? Well, he's he's got to talk about the future and, and if he can wrestle again. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what Stinger's got to say, boys. Have you seen any matches from Sting there, Hoss? Have I seen... Uh, <laughs> that's right. Have I seen any matches of a guy who wrestled for 30 years? Yeah, I've seen one or two. He, uh, he's he got some pretty decent moves, or he did at least back in the day. You know, I'm going to go ahead and say this now. He was a lot better with the uh, colorful makeup. What? Whoa, whoa, who is this? Who in the world? What is going on? Oh, hey, is that a fan? Can we get security over here? Security! Why is he attacking Sting? This is this is unbelievable. You got it, Mr. R D D T on the entrance ramp. Mr. Bob, uh, why is he here? Wayne, did, did you set this up for me? I mean, it's funny, but did you set this up? No, I did not set up anything. Seriously, can we get security or some EMP? Sting's really hurt, guys. Oh, he uh, just... By a sledgehammer, really? I... What just happened? We we I ha we had to take that off the screen because Sting is injured r really bad. But uh, up next, Lita versus Tony Storm. Winner of this match goes on to Destined for Greatness to be a chance to become the first ever women's t champion against Trish Stratus. Yeah, we got my former flame Lita. Who she was good in the '90s, but you got my future thing, Miss Tony Storm, and uh, Tony. Yeah, like I said, she's a future, a future of wrestling. You know what I mean, buddy. Oh, yeah. You get your mind out of the gutter, Mr. Bomb. Ha, ha, ha. Lita was uh, amazing back in the 90s, uh, but can she still go in the ring? That's what we're about to find out. We are about to see uh, Wayne and, uh, she, I mean, she looks good. She, she definitely looks like she's been hitting that gym, keeping that cardio up. Uh, staying very fit, if I <laughs> may say so myself. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, the only thing is no thong. No thong attached. Ah, uh, we gotta keep it PG, buddy. Gotta keep it oh, PG. Well, well you, were, you had your mind in the gutter in the beginning. <laughs> I was letting the crowd build the picture. You're just straight up throwing it. Alright, leave it to the imagination, boy. Alright, alright, well. Lita's in the ring, ready for Tony <laughs> Storm. And I gotta admit, Tony Storm missed the future. As she's coming out, you can hear her entrance music. And rightfully so, she is one of the greatest of all time right now. Lita versus Tony Storm. Yeah, uh, Lita, she, uh, she could dominate some people back in the old days, but Tony Storm, she might be bringing some competition where Lita may not be ready. Yeah, and I will admit, Tony Storm's very attractive with that hat backwards. I gotta give her that. Oh, you go for the girls with the hat backwards? Yes. Mm. Yeah, I, I can see that. You're, you're definitely a hat backwards kind of guy. What is that supposed to mean? Uh, like I said, we'll keep it PG. Oh, okay. Tony Storm is ready for Lita. You can see the facial expressions telling it all. So, correct me if I'm wrong, though, but Tony Storm is from one of those UK crappy countries like Ireland, right? Oh, uh, will you stop? Okay, well, I mean, I usually watch her matches on mute anyways. Oh, come All right. on. Right off the bat with a nice suplex to Lita. Ooh, that's got to hurt. You know Lita's got those neck and back problems. Yeah, that's the one thing you don't want to... Oh, okay. Nice, nice reversal, Lita. Another if that one. was a guy, that would hurt a lot more. Oh, yeah. Just, just gonna say, yeah, that oh, a nice twisting neckbreaker. 
Whew. She's dead. No, she's okay. dead. What are you, Jim Ross already? I was a little wrong. By God, I was wrong. <laughs> well, Lita's, uh, she's competition, and th there's no doubt about it, but Tony Storm pushing her away just a little bit. Uh, what is this? Oh, Whew. Very impressive. Very impressive. I'll tell you now, though, uh, Wayne, uh, Tony may be winning and taking advantage of Lita right now, but I gotta say, Lita looks, I don't know, about 15 years younger in this, uh, match. <laughs> just a little bit. Uh, yep, just a little bit. She's, uh, a lot of makeup. Hey, the fountain. Ooh, ooh, that's gotta hurt. The rib cage, everything. Nice. Ooh, ooh the Enziguri. I'm just gonna go around letting women kick each other in the head? Uh, apparently. Oh, that's gotta, that's gotta destroy the tailbone. I, I gotta tell you, this Tony Storm, she's got some, uh, this, she's got some moves in her arsenal, and she is scary. She is very scary. There's something about Tony Storm that just speaks wrestling, and a big time reversal there by Lita. Oh, a single leg crab. Is she gonna tap? Now let me go ahead and ask you this, Wayne. Were you the one that specifically? Uh, Sign Tony Storm to the FOW roster. Yes. Okay, so you you do have some eye for talent, so I'll give you that. I'll go. I'll get. I'll give you one clap. Just one. Clap. Oh, she's going high risk. Oh, big time leg drop into the cover. So, wh that that was a that was a bit of a slow count, ref. Uh, Wayne, what what what's going on with your ref? Showing a little bias here? Yes, I, I gotta agree with you on that. And another one, another oh, opportunity man. with the single leg. Lita is trying to tear that cartilage in the knee, and she's just waiting to hear that big pop. Make, you, know, you take away Tony's knees, and a lot of her arsenal and offense goes away. A big time. And Mr. Bomb, do you hear? I can't believe it, but we have a surface dog in the crowd. We do? Hey, who took the blind guy to the wrestling show? Oh, come on. Be nice to the, the fans. I bet What's... you his favorite wrestler is John Cena. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You oh. can't see him. Yeah, well, Lita might not be able to see that because that rang, rang her bells a little bit and the neck. Well, it may have rung the, the bell like uh, Notre Dame recently, but, hey, good thing that ref's a slow count. Oh, come on. A slow count? I mean... Look at him. He's trying to officiate perfectly. Perfectly? Uh. Uh, you used to wrestle. There's a referee you know, Doug Rafferty. I mean, he, he's as blind as hell. Doug was a very honest ref. This ref is about... This ref is calling it about as straight as your FOW logo on the ring apron. Up and down, up and down. Up and down, up and down. Okay. I see. Negativity, but lead us into the cover. Oh my gosh! Do you see that fast count? Fast count. That's all you're getting with this guy from Lita. Okay. I thought it was a slow count. Now it was. No, it was when Tony was counting. I think he's got eyes for Lita. Well, I think one eye might be going that way, and the other guy going the other way. But we'll just talk about that. <laughs> Man, Lita is not giving up this fight, though. She is not letting the youth win. No, the big time DDT again, as we see it. Dragging Tony Storm for a cover again. Could this be it? Lights out. Oh! Whew. Thought this one was over, Wayne. Well, that was that was the first time we've seen a good actual pen attempt by the ref. I don't. I think Lita's starting to lose her temper. She's starting to wonder what does it take to get Tony Storm down for the count. Yeah, but you can see her age is starting to get to her big time German Ooh. suplex into the bridge. Barely a kick out. Barely a kick out, but we're going to go ahead and say she did. I didn't see the shoulder get up, but she thinks it did. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. I don't know what that's called, but that must have hurt. And she kicked out. I'm surprised at that. I don't think she kicked out, Wayne. I think Tony went ahead and let the pin out so she can continue to drop her on her neck. It could be possible. Oh, again? He's not trying to beat Lita. She's trying to end her career. Somebody tell that service dog to shut up while we're trying to do commentary. 
You know, I'm going to go find that dog, and I'm going to tell him to shut up. I'll be back. You got this, Wayne? Yes, Hopefully I got out this. this. As we see, he left to go tell that blind fan to shut up and get his dog out of here. Big time German suplex into the bridge again. Could this be it? And Tony Storm wins it. As I can't even do this right now. This is funny. Mr. Bond just knocked out an old man that's blind. The, through the chihuahua across the Uh, allegedly I did that. I just saw it. He was the only eyewitness, and he's not going to see nothing. He ain't going to say nothing, and uh, hey, he fell. Right, what are you going to... I think it was the same fan that tried to attack Bret Hart at the Hall of Fame. Oh, that was awesome. Those dirty Canadians. I swear. Oh! Oh, is Tony Storm... Oh, the exclamation point. That thing. Come on, the match is over. Let's no, just keep it going. We got time to fill, Tony. One more time. Tony Storm won this match. She is definitely the future of, of wrestling. Just like the logo says. What a... What a first... What a great first opening match tonight, Wayne. That was a very good first opening match, and uh, this is about to be even bigger. All right, so so we got Jeff Hardy and uh, who's the other guy? Adam Cole, baby. Okay, there you go. You better recognize. Adam Cole is definitely a future, and he is the future of the Undisputed Era. Speaking of which, is he going to be bringing his boys down to the ring, or is he taking Jeffy on one-on-one? Now, I hope you guys' uh, announcers are a lot more professional than the guy who ended up announcing Jeff Hardy as Jeff Harvey that one time. I, I hope so. It's definitely Jeff Hardy and not Harvey. It's not Steve Harvey's show. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, Columbia did not win Miss Universe. Steve, Jeff, whatever. What What are we talking about here, Wayne? I, I, I don't know that anymore. Jeff Hardy's coming out. Is he going to be able to beat Adam Cole to move on to face Rey Mysterio destined for greatness for the International Championship? That's the question. I'll tell you, you know, as much as I don't like Jeff Hardy, and I'll be a little unbiased when I say that, he has done some big time moments and pulled out the big victory when needed. So, he's always got a few uh, aces up those purple sleeves of his. Yes, he does, but at the same time, he does take some risks. And sometimes risks, I can't even talk, <laughs> <laughs> risks that he takes are, are too dangerous. It looks like Adam Cole's coming out alone. Oh, oh, oh he's, he's, he's going to do, baby! Woo! I love it when he does that. He points up, the crowd goes crazy. I get a little bit of enjoyment out of my crappy life, living in my one-bedroom apartment with my divorced wife, uh, trying to get alimony from me. But she's not getting another damn check from me, Wayne. I'm not going to keep paying her, all right? Well, you did try to sell it at one time, so... Yeah, I made $300. What's that website again? Uh, I believe it's buymywife.com. Oh, my God. Will you be serious? Hey, you can sell anything online. You know, I found a baby online. Uh, was it Adam Cole? Same thing? Oh, you got me. Oh, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> But Adam Cole, Jeff Hardy, I can't believe we're talking about how to sell things up in time. But, hey, we gotta have some enjoyment during commentary. Alright, you're right. And hey, the excitement's about to pick up when Adam Cole's about to take on Jeff Hardy to make it to... I'm sorry, I was uh looking at the deaf guy getting, or the blind guy getting taken out. So, the winner of this is facing Rey Mysterio in the next round of the tournament. Yes, the finals for the, the international championship. Oh boy. As we see, these two are pumped up and ready as the referee calls for the bell. Now, 
I'm, I'm a little new to this, Wayne. So is the international championship, is that getting uh, debuted at the tournament, at the end of the yes. tournament? Yes, Oh, so definitely both of these oh. men. Ooh, with a smack to the face. The ref didn't see it. Hey, it's perfectly legal. The ref didn't see it. But like I was saying, both of these men would love to become the inaugural FOW international champion. Big time, man. I, oh, my gosh. What is Jeff oh, Hardy Jeff, doing? Here's one of those risks. Oh! Ooh, dropped it hard to the face. Jeez, Adam Cole might be Dream Street. That might have chipped a tooth. Hopefully, he knows a good doctor. For those There's... of you that didn't get that joke, his girlfriend is a doctor, or she's a dentist. So. Oh, a dentist for real. Yeah, Wikipedia. It. Okay, I'm gonna have to Wikipedia this after this match, but Adam Cole. Oh. Oh, sorry, got a little excited there. Uh, well, I know. I, we, we both see the blonde guy getting taken out by security. Adam Cole was trying to end it with that super kick. He's trying yes. to win this early. Yes, and now, see, he's even going for that cover quickly. Could have put a little bit more pressure on those shoulders, Wayne. Definitely could have. Uh, but Jeff Hardy's he's not the type to just uh, be taken out instantly during a match. He's going to just keep going. Oh, look at them hops. Let's see whose cardio's better in this uh, match of attrition. Oh, with the stomps, hard stomps. Adam Cole's trying to mess up Jeff's teeth. And I'll tell you, this is this is a smart move by Adam Cole, baby, Wayne, because uh, Jeff Hardy cannot do his high risk moves if he's laying on the mat getting stomped. No, especially uh, if he if he's hurt. And, well, no. What is Adam Cole thinking? Oh, somebody. Oh, no. Ref, don't let him do this. Oh, oh. Gosh. That is the hardest part of the ma of the ring. Did you know that? That is where the steel comes together, and there is no give. There's no give, and I've seen you get that plenty of times. Oh, it's it's not fun. It is not fun at all. I've seen you power bomb people on that side part of the ring too. Could this be it though? Hardy, just not barely. Hardy. I I don't even think he kicked out. I think he just. On instinct, got that shoulder slid out. He didn't even kick out. That shoulder just popped up far enough to stop the count, Wayne. Big time. And Adam Cole kind of counted that wrong. Now Hardy's fighting back. He wants the international champion. I, I spoke to him earlier, and Jeff Hardy, he said, this is a chance for me to say that I have won another singles title before I retire. Yeah, but Wayne, does he really need it? I mean, he just wants to get the championship. So he can add it to his long list of championships. When you've got a, a young stud like Adam Cole, who I think would take the international championship and the future of wrestling to the whole next level. I mean, just look at him. He's just, just losing confidence just, right he's, now. The confidence. Is, oh, my. And Hardy, he, he fell into that trap by Adam Cole in the pinfall. Yeah, he did. Broke break. I like Adam Cole, and there's nothing wrong with Adam Cole. I just, I feel like Jeff Hardy's, uh, you know, it, it's good to see a veteran say that, you know, he could be the future still. Yeah, and, you know, I, I like this, the statement Adam Cole made by not bringing out his boys because he doesn't want any controversy when he wins this tournament, uh, Wayne. He doesn't need the undisputed error. He just knows he's going to win this fair and square like he always does. Because he's going to do it the Adam Cole baby, Adam Cole way. Yes, and that big time superplex off the top rope. Could that be it? But no, Hardy kicking out at two. Ah, Hardy is, he is a rodent and a cockroach. He is oh. just not going to give up. Cole with the bear hug. You don't see that often, but he is definitely trying to make sure Hardy does not have that high risk uh, offense, as you had stated earlier. And we haven't seen much of the high uh, flying abilities by Jeff Hardy yet. What is this? Oh, right on the back of the head. Oh, he might not oh. be able to walk after that. I tell you what, if I was a fan that paid to see this show live, I'd be very disappointed knowing that Jeff Hardy has not done any of his high risk mm -hmm. moves except for a drop kick. We want to see that uh, whisper in the wind. The oh, the, is it a three? Is it a three? Oh, uh, oh, that was that was close. I mean, we might have to watch a replay on that. Okay, I'm being told there is no replay that we're going to watch, so we're going to keep going. Oh, he Ooh. hit it. Oh, okay. So I was lied to. We do have a replay. Um, Steve in the back. Don't fucking lie to me again. Yeah, don't. Sorry about that, Wayne. 
Oh, so you know, so did Jeff Hardy just kick out at not even one? Oh, he's getting cocky. It's like he wants that boot to face. Oh, and is he going for it again? Oh, my goodness, the knee to the face. Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And if that face ain't broke, make sure it is. Well, you know, you've seen it throughout this whole match. Adam Cole has focused on that face, the teeth, the chin, everything. I mean, we're, we're, honestly, Wayne, all jokes aside, we're going to have to check Jeff for a concussion at concussion. the end of this match. He might even have some Cesaro teeth after this. <laughs> oh, because his, his teeth will be like Swiss. Jeez. Oh, the, don't even get me. Oh, I don't even want to see that that picture again. And Adam Cole's cockiness is just... Could he come to kick him in the ass on that one? I don't know. I mean, I don't even think Jeff knows where he is right now. It feels like... I think he thinks he might have been deleted all over again. I think so. Oh, what is that one? Oh, I've never seen that move before. All I know is it looks like it hurt because Jeff is a rag doll right now. There's just no offense by Jeff Hardy. He's, he's, he's just, everything's out. He's out. I mean, the ref should really stop this. I mean, yes, it is definitely going to be, uh, you know, a four, maybe five-star match on behalf of Adam Cole. But, I mean, we got to think of Jeff Hardy. I mean, he's got some kids party that he can be going to oh, next week, no. and we're just not going to have him cleared. Another knee to the face as we saw that in that Adam just now is Jeff Hardy kicking out. Where is he finding this? What is he taking? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if he's a uh... Woo! Jawbreaker. Yep, uh, I like a good old jawbreaker, but not that kind of jawbreaker. I mean, he might as well give one to Adam Cole. He's been getting it all match. Oh, look at Jeff with some offense. Is it gonna be enough to win this match though? Uh, he might be setting up for that Swanton. Could be. Could be looking for it. Or a cover. He's going for the, oh, look at this coward. Look at this coward going for the quick win instead of giving these fans what they pay to see. What a selfish, selfish idiot. Well, it has been like a 12-minute match. What you, Jeff Hardy's been taking... taking his body's been taking a toll. Oh, my oh, God! Super kick by Cole. Adam, oh, this, this match is over, Wayne. End it. Just ended. I saw two fly out. Did you? Even oh. the referee, he's like, ow. I, I don't think this ref can throw the X up fast enough. I mean, he's just going to let this happen. Just end it, ref. He's, oh, he, he's got a children. He's got, thank you, ref. That's the smart thing to do. Gosh. Jeff Hardy fought hard in this match, but Adam Cole in the end is moving on the face. Ray Mysterio. Watch this replay the drop kick. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah, the the one good move Jeff had in that match, but I mean, Adam Cole was just too fast, he was too strong, too violent, too aggressive, I mean, you know, hit the hat to Jeff, but Adam Cole wanted that win, and he wants that championship. Uh, Rey Mysterio, he's got a very strong opponent coming in, a very tough obstacle, one that he may not have faced in a very long time. Yeah, and that would be, actually is the first time ever Adam Cole versus Rey Mysterio too, and we get to see it live on Future of Wrestling, right here with Mr. Hoss, and I'm Wayne, and we're gonna keep this action going Ooh. on Future of Wrestling. This has been an exciting night. Uh, I had my doubts at first, Wayne, uh, especially with you, uh -huh. but uh, but I tell you, you know, just awesome matches so far. We got my girl winning with Tony Storm. We got Adam Cole just destroying Jeff Hardy. Who do we got next? Hiroshi Tanahashi versus Kota Ibushi to crown the first ever Bantamweight champion. All right. Who you got Man. in this one, Mr. Hoss? I'm going with the Asian. Oh, that is so wrong. Really? You had to go there? You can't just pick one guy. Live from Chicago. All right, hold on. Um, hold on. I'll, I'll let you know. They both look the same to me. Give me a second. As we see Hiroshi Kanahashi coming out. And I love this entrance. Now, Hiroshi, is he, uh, that was the name of the little green guy from Super Mario Brothers, right? Oh my gosh, we do be serious. It's Hiroshi Tanahashi from New Japan Pro Wrestling. Not Mario Kart, not Mario Smash oh. Brothers. Oh, okay, so 
No, I get it. You, you hate Nintendo, whatever. Fine. Yeah, let's go Yosh. It's not Yosh. Uh, it, it's a hard name, okay? It's a hard name to say. I'm surprised I got it right. Uh, all right. So yeah, that guy. What an entrance from Hiroshi Tanahashi. You got it right. Yeah. Thank you. No. I was uh. Yeah, I, I was just. I don't know. I was guessing his name. He's got a long entrance. Can we get the other guy? <laughs> it is a long uh, entrance, but. I think he just took a dump. Hope this is a short match. Now, now everybody knows this guy. He wrestled in WWE's Cruiserweight class in Kyoto. Oh, oh he's, he's part of 205 Live? No, I'll, I'll take the other guy, uh, Wayne, for 300. No, the host doesn't have cancer of this show. Uh, cause you needed me. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, I am getting my chest, right? Okay, good. Oh, can I get somebody else to handle my money? <laughs> She, she, I'll accept payments from her. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll handle that after. So let's get back to the match. All right. So that is a gorgeous looking title. Are we allowed to say title on this show? Yes, we're, we're allowed to say it. Even we're, we're even allowed to say belt. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Called it because I can't believe this. Uh, Rosie. You guys you guys were able to get an Asian ref for this match, too? That is amazing. It's the same ref the whole damn show. Oh, sorry. Oh, a quick win, quick win, oh. Uh, what, you don't believe in J Japanese wrestling? I mean, I know it exists. I mean... Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Bushi's already kicking the... F oh, my goodness. He's kicking the taste out of him, Jesus. Like, this could be a quick win already. Get up, Yoshi. There you go. Get a mushroom. Get a mushroom? We need, it's a Nintendo thing. You wouldn't get it. Oh, All right. Okay. Yeah. You and your uh, Sega Dreamcast man cave. Man cave. Look at this up and over. What is next? Okay. Kota Bushi. Okay. Okay. Good. Is is that what they do a lot in Japan? Just a lot of running? I thought I thought Japan was big for the fat guy wrestlers, Wayne. Well. I don't know. I I just commentate for future wrestling. Okay. I'll I'll, I'll admit, Wayne, future uh, of wrestling is easily within the top 100 wrestling promotions I've ever been a part of. Easily one, easily top 1,000. Oh. Seriously. Yes. Well, I, I appreciate that. But look at that superplex off the top. Could that be it? I don't think he's getting up. I mean, he wouldn't have gotten up if that ref was a little faster with that count. Oh, but he's trying his best. I mean, you gotta admit, you know, the referee's up. Look, he's adjusting his uh, pants in the middle of a match. All right, let's get back to the action. This is okay. One thing I will know besides the fat guy wrestlers is I know these Japanese guys hit hard. And <laughs> just look at that sit down power bomb. I don't know if you, I mean. Every time they do a move, uh, Wayne, I, it's, I just don't see them getting up. But that, they, that, that is the truth. Every move that they do is just aggressive. It's dangerous. Like, they always go to the top rope for something. What is this? Big oh. moonsault in a fist. Oh. There was no water in that pool. No. No. Come on. Ooh, sling blade. Very, very beautiful, very tight sling blade. Oh, he's going for the win. Oh, Ooh, I thought that was, was over. I thought that was over, but somehow oh. Koto Bushi kicking out. I don't know how the ref saw how to count that with the shoulders down because he was just looking at Hiroshi's butt, but... I'm, I'm telling you, Wayne, something's off with this ref. 
I think Ibushi uh, may have gotten his uh, second win. Was that a dragon suplex? Oh, you do not. And you do not see that very often. Oh, yeah, I'd get him back in the ring for that quick win after that. You might have a broken freaking neck, you know? I, I tell you, these Japanese guys, they, uh, I think they got more uh, heart than brain sometimes. Oh, the Japanese clover leaf. Look at that. That is dangerous. The oh. Back, the lower back. Look at the leg strength by a Kota Ibushi, though. I tell you, an American may have tapped out to that because he had more height on the back, but, oh, the, the package suplex. Could that Man. be it? And all these moves you, you've noticed has been on the neck, back, and everything. They've just been hitting hard. Going uh, up top again, Kota Ibushi. I don't, I don't know. Four oh. fifth splash. Was that a knee to the face? Knee to the face, neck, oh. chest, oh. I don't see. There's no way these Japanese wrestlers can have long careers, Wayne. I mean, they they do these high risk moves. They're just nonstop brutal offense, and I, I just don't see how they can go too much longer, especially in this match, let alone in their career. And he's not this again. Not this uh, kind of move. Think of, think of his family. Think of his family. Oh my goodness, the neck. I, uh, we thought that was bad when we saw Adam Cole do it at the party. Oh, but, but I mean... But is just fighting back. He's not even stunned. I, I mean, I think he's hurt, Wayne. I think he's hurt. I think it's all pure adrenaline. The people in this crowd are just going crazy for him. Uh, but I'm telling you now, once that adrenaline wears off, he's going to be hurting, and he may not think it was worth it. Oh, a beautiful 450. I don't know why he didn't go for the pin. He should have gone is. for the pin. No. Yeah, but if he'd have gone with the pin immediately, Wayne, he may have gotten that three. Yeah, it looked like he kind of hesitated. Maybe he didn't think Hiroshi Tanahashi was down and out yet. And it, obviously, it's, he was right. Maybe he shouldn't have gone for the cover. Oh, yo, but this time... Hiroshi blocking that one kick, but not these Big kicks. mistake. Big mistake. He shouldn't have blocked that kick. Seemed to make him mad. Kind of pissed him off a little bit. Is this oh. another... What is this? Another uh, sit-down power bomb. He, he is a... That is definitely a move he likes to do a lot in his arsenal. Well, like you said in the last match with Adam Cole, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And this uh, could be it. I mean... Ta Tanahashi is just barely moving. He's on almost the other side of the ring, and he's gonna do. Oh what my god! What was that? Phoenix flash? Oh my Phoenix gosh, that was flash. beautiful. And he was. Look at the angle. Wow, I'm shocked. We don't. We don't know if the three count has happened yet, ladies and gentlemen. There. So, whew, I was worried. And it's over. Kota Ibushi is crowned the first ever bantamweight champion. I mean, seriously, guys, we might want to get a, a medic. That was at least a 13 count, and he still has it moved. So, uh, Wayne. Uh. Oh, the I mean, look at the sling blade. What a match. Blade. What a match. Wayne. Oh, yeah, look at that sling blade. Look at the neck. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Wayne, you just got to be careful with that neck. Look at how deep he has. I, I, I can't believe uh, he had gotten out of that. But It, it was pretty just... deep, and then he hit him with that 450. But he hesitated on the cover. No, see, Wayne, I don't know if you saw it on that, but I'm pretty sure his face hit off the mat, and I think he might have gotten a little rock. It could have been that, but as you can see, he is the new Bantamweight champion, the first ever. Man, uh, I tell you, after a match like that, Wayne, it's going to be hard for anybody to take that title from him. He doesn't look like he's giving that up anytime soon. Yeah, but he does look rock. Maybe you were right when he did hit his face. Or it could be the eyes, I don't know. As we see our first main event of the night, Finn Balor versus Shawn Michaels, because we have two main events, two more matches to, to do this commentary on. And we are live in Chicago, Illinois. And Mr. Bomb, look who's coming out. All right. It's Finn Balor time. What is your uh, opinion on Finn Balor? Does he have the, the patience and the abilities to beat a Shawn Michaels? So, that, 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 that is a good question, Wayne. Um, does he have the patience? 
I think Sean's gonna get in his head. Sean is a, a extremely tenured veteran. Uh, he's the best in the game, and uh, I think it's gonna start agitating Finn when he he can't get those easy victories like he he got used to in the Indies. Um, does he have the abilities? Ooh, if, if, I don't know. If, if Finn if Finn maybe paints his face a little bit and makes him look all scary and stuff. And uh, he might be able to pull one off, but uh, Leather Jack Finn, I don't see it, bud. Well, we will, we're about to see it. Shawn Michaels, Finn Balor, first time ever in his future wrestling. I'm, I'm prepared to see Finn Balor take this all the way. I, I believe he's got the abilities. Because he's got the patience, because Shawn Michaels is not going to be easy to be quickly. It's going to take a lot. You know, Finn may be in control of the club, but uh, Sean might shut that stuff down real quick with a little sweet chin music. Oh, it's, it's definitely an impressive uh, entrance. It looks like uh, half the budget of the show went to this, uh, this entrance, and uh, hope it pays off for the kids. But uh, like I said, that demon, or the demon Sumner, I should say, Maybe hearing some music playing from a band real shortly. The truth, but the crowd even see us all sign that said, "You are money." Is it going to be a factor? Is Finn Balor the money to beat Shawn Michaels tonight? Well, we'll see. Let's go ahead and get the main event, the icon, the showstopper, Mr. WrestleMania himself, 1993 circa Shawn Michaels. Woo! I mean, if you thought Finn's entrance was good, I mean, nobody can say Sean doesn't have the best uh, wrestling entrance ever. Coming down from the rappers like that? Well, so, here's how I see it, Wayne. Uh, Shawn Michaels, back in the old days, he could go. Shawn Michaels in the current day, he can go, just not as long. So, if Shawn wants this win, he's taking it early. If Ben can weather the storm, salute the band, he's got a chance. But, uh, well, you know, only time can tell, and Sean is somebody that's already fought time once. He's uh, been here for a while, and he doesn't seem like his clock is done ticking. No, I mean, but he's also got back issues, so Finn Balor's definitely got to focus on that. But back, knees, see, brain, head, I'm pretty sure he's got a lazy eye. I mean, it's... It, it's definitely there. Just the two... They're just trying to outstrength each other at this point. There's no reason to get some, uh, get rushed. They're just slowly tease, uh, testing each other out, not teasing, but they're testing the waters, just trying to see who's gonna jump first. Yeah, that's the, the question. Look, I love this. The, just the old school way of just pushing your guy back into the corner and and see who's the test. The strong, but Shawn Michaels with a right hand. Hey, oh. like. Like I had said earlier, uh, Wayne, if the ref didn't see it, it's 100% legal. That was fair and square. Ref, you want to go ahead and separate them? They're in the corner. They're definitely in the corner again. Oh, and Finn What Balor. is that? The punch. What a dirt. Oh, what a dirty shot, Wayne. There you go. Ooh. Come on. Sean just did it in the other corner. What are you talking about? Tit for tat. Oh. I mean, could, could we just watch the match, Wayne? Could you stop worrying about your tits and your tic tacs? Jeez. Well, you, you saw that instant hurry, though, from Shawn Michaels. Not too what often. about that suplex? Whew. No, that suplex rang some bells, too. And you can see he's working on the neck. Man, I'll tell you what, a lot of this... Oh, oh small oh, music is over. There is no way. One, two... Finn I can't Balor. believe it. Finn Nobody Balor. out of that way. Shawn Michaels, all of a sudden... Out of nowhere with a sweet chin music. Beautiful. I, I mean, after seeing that, I mean, nobody kicks out of sweet chin music, Wayne. Maybe Sean can't go anymore. Maybe he just doesn't have it. But, you know, for old time's sake, let's go for the top rope elbow, buddy. No. Oh, big time fly. Okay. I thought that was going to be an elbow drop. 
I thought it was too, and then going for the sweet chin music again, but maybe Shawn Michaels has a little respect for Finn Balor. I mean, that or maybe he knows it won't work. Well, the first one did not work, so maybe Shawn thinks he has to wear Finn Balor down in order to control this match throughout and then hit the big time sweet chin music in the end. Oh, I mean, I I'll tell you, Wayne, I know what it's like to hit your big move and not get the win. Uh, you put everything into it or everything you think you've got and just that last second it, it's just a heartbreaker it is a heartbreaker uh, I mean I've been sweet chin music before in a wrestling ring so I know how that feels oh Finn's going to the outside is this another one of those DDTs oh my gosh Shawn Michaels neck and back though he's had the issues before I, we need to start finding these guys for these DDTs to the apron. This this is starting to get way too much. People are going to really start getting hurt. And if these guys get hurt, Wayne, your show's over. You know that, right? Oh, I know. Uh, but these guys are just, they're, they're going to keep fighting in order to win, it, win this match. And I love that uh, Russian leg sweep. It, it is pretty. It is pretty. Uh, now, does is this match for anything, Wayne? Or now is it just for respect? Just respect. Can Finn Balor beat a guy like Shawn Michaels? Oh, <laughs> chop. Oh. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised Finn's chest isn't as red as his tights yet. But Shawn's definitely trying to weaken that chin for a second sweet <clears throat> chin music. No. Oh, the power driver. That is illegal in 47 states and North Korea. Is it? Is it in Chicago, Illinois? Because we're here. Uh, we'll see if somebody gets arrested. I don't know what 47 states it is. Uh, we're going to have to look that up because Shawn Michaels might be arrested after this match. I'm surprised uh, Finn Balor kicked out of the power driver, though, because that is one deadly move. I mean, so many guys have gotten hurt off that. So many guys. Stone Cold Steve Austin, paralyzed. Puke, paralyzed. Other guys, paralyzed. Yep, and uh, uh, is, could this be what you were calling for earlier? There it is. Old time, he uh, might have taken the wrong elbow, and he might have gotten a little hurt on that. I personally would have gone with the left, but was that enough? Oh, just, my just gosh. barely, just I, barely. He didn't have enough in him to fin this him. This is it. Here it comes tuning up the band. Oh, oh. night, night, Finn. Night, night, Finn. Might want to put some face paint on next time, though. Oh, Shawn Michaels. Hey, I'll, I'll give it to Finn. He uh, he put on a, a show. Uh, not a good show, but he, he tried. Watch the first week in music. He thought that was it. And that DDT that should be illegal in FOW because we've seen it three times tonight. I mean, I'm sure I'm sure it's, something's going to be done, but... Yeah, that, that second kick, he got 110%. He, he kicked him so hard that Demon felt it. So the Demon won't even be 100% coming in next time we ever see them. Well, that's the thing. Will we ever see the Demon in FOW? That's a question that Finn Balor might have to answer to in the future if you get my drift on that. But look at that nice elbow. Yeah, I mean, he kept that tight. I, th I think he, he did it with that arm because he knew it be a lot more impact because a lot more weight was going on to the elbow that's a veteran move if i've ever seen it yes and Shawn michaels the, the heartbreak kid Shawn michaels won in this match and out of respect i give to Shawn michaels you know where's the handshake at for, for finn balor because that was an awesome match uh finn would have to wake up first in order to get that but what is Shawn michaels doing though he, he's obviously checking on finn i mean Finn is out. He's going to lift him up and give him a handshake. Come on. There, yeah, of course he's... What the... Oh. No, come on, Sean! Finn tripped. Finn tripped. Oh, my gosh. I know he didn't. You said... Look, he is out. He hit that turnbuckle hard. Yeah, Sean's helping him up. He's He is a great guy. Come on. He's throwing him. Where's... What's he doing? Come on, Sean. Sean. Uh, what, Sean uh, why, why is Sean doing this, Wayne? Uh, well, we need to get out of the way, though, Hoss. Yeah, whoa, whoa. What is Sean? Come on, Sean, not this way. What? No, come oh, on. oh. 
No, sorry, I'm 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 intrigued on what this violence is about to happen. Oh, no, Sean! No, oh, no, 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 no! Sean can't do this. No, Sean. Oh my God! Oh my, oh my God. God! Oh, he's got to be broken in half. Oh my God! We need to get this camera away from here. The, the crowd is going crazy. Yeah, it's probably good if we cut it. Oh, oh I cannot gosh. believe what we just saw, Wayne. Well, uh, Gee, I, I don't understand why Shawn Michaels just did that, but out comes for the main event, the 20-minute uh, Iron Man match, and I'm telling you, Will Ospreay is a future star in FOW, but do you know his opponent? Uh, no, I, I lost the, the paper I got at the beginning of the show. Who is, who is it? He lost the, the paper because of that damn Shawn Michaels and what he just did. Huh. Uh, Will Ospreay will take on Pete Dunne. Oh, this this gonna be a British clinic, and you said it, it's a 20 man Iron Man. 20 minute Iron Man match. 20 minutes? Sorry, sorry. I was I was thinking of British rules where they have 20 men in the Iron Man match, and it's a lot more complicated. But yeah, 20 minutes is still uh, a devastating. These oh, 20 minutes are gonna put these two boys in pain. These British boys know how to hurt each other. Yes, they do, and I, I gotta give it. Pete Dunn may have uh, lost his. Uh, United Kingdom Championship after 685 days, but Pete Dunn's here in FOW to prove something, and maybe, just maybe, Will Ospreay can just keep that losing streak going. I mean, if I was Will Ospreay, I would not want to be facing Pete Dunn in one of his first matches after losing his 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 baby. I mean, that thing was there for almost two years. That boy had that title, and he he's gonna put the bruiser. On Osprey. Yes, he is, and I just received word. The reason why Big Show is not out here is because he is barred from ringside in this Iron Man match. That that helps be done even more. Yeah, but you know, the, yeah, that's good. That's good. Let's keep it that way. We don't need a Big Show ruining anything like this. Um, I, I'm gonna be honest, uh, Wayne. They're, they're British. I know they like to fight, but I mean they're ugly. They. Oh come on. I mean, England hasn't been relevant since like Benny Hill, so I mean I'm not really super interested. Let's see if these boys can change my mind. I wonder if they can change your mind. But look, look at the shot, that right hand, and you know what the style of, of Pete Dunne is. He's gonna work on every body part. Uh, I'll tell you one thing I actually do like about. Uh, Pete Dunn, not a lot I like about him, but I like that little finger bending thing he does. It, that seems like it hurts like that. Yeah, do you want to feel it? Nah, no, nah, don't get off me. Don't touch me. Weirdo. Uh, but Will Ospreay has got to watch out for those because he felt a lot of that in the first episode. Oh, big time. Reversal. I mean, what? What is this? Oh, into the bridge and not even a one count. We got 19 minutes left. And the elbow. These guys need to pace themselves, Wayne. Now, I can't tell if Will Osprey has just a heavy padded knee on that left knee pad, or if he's got a brace. But he looks like he might be holding or hiding an injury, if you ask me. That is the truth. And did you see that superplex sit-down power bomb? Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Not too often we see those kind of moves from Pete Dunne. I mean, you, you got 20 minutes, Pete. There's no point throwing all your eggs in one basket the first two minutes. No, especially if you're going to lose energy. And what is this? Was that a, what, Falcon Arrow, I believe? That was maybe a Falcon. A, maybe a modified Mishinoki driver? Yes. Will has been training around the world, and I'm pretty sure he's been in very close relations with Taka Michinoku. That is the truth, and uh, Pete Dunne's been really good friends with Funaki for a few years, too. Why? Like, I, I don't know. Pete, I like you with the whole finger-breaking uh, thing, and then you like Funaki. Wow. The number one FOW announcer. I was about to say, we don't say the other brand. Yeah, we don't. Back we don't. to that powerbomb. <laughs> Jeez, and that's a big-time powerbomb. It, it uh, is. You don't see it too often, and then when you see somebody flying up in the air that far... Ooh, German suplex into the bridge. Could that be it for the first fall? But no, two count. Oh, man. I don't see. I don't see how these guys keep going, Wayne. It's almost as if they're in a video game. Uh, what, what is this? 
Did he just hit his signature move? He might have. Oh, and he kicked out? Nobody. He's getting, up, he's getting upset, Wayne. He's getting upset. It's a little early, but you don't want to get upset, uh, Pete Dunn. No, you don't want to get the frustration. You don't want the frustration to work on you. Especially, you, you got to slow this pace down. 17 minutes is a long time. Yeah, I mean, they, they can't go this 150 mile per hour for the next 17 minutes. I mean, bodies are just going to start breaking down. Energy is going to just be gone. Oh, I don't know what that was, but what was it, a reverse bulldog? See, you're not going to be seeing that 15 minutes from now when these guys are gassed. No, no, not not exactly. We're never going to see that. Oh, is he going to hit this again? You know what Pete Dunn's move is, and that's the second one. He is a persistent little brick. Could that be it? And it's He's the got, first fall for Pete Dunn. He got that relatively quickly, and I am shocked. But Will Ospreay says, no, I don't need no break time. I'm ready to go. Let's go, mate. Ready to go. Big. Oh, no. Small He's package. Little, small package. And Will Ospreay says, no, I can't go two falls. I uh I wasn't talking about the move. I was talking about Pete and his little tights. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, look uh, at the stomps. Wayne, if we could just be serious for a minute. I'm trying to watch some good Brit uh, British uh, wrestling, uh, if you don't uh, mind. Mr. Oh, here, oh there the Shut up. Oh, you can hear a crack. Yep, I felt it. I had to crack my hands because it felt just, ugh. Uh, Jamie Arthritis just looking at it. Is what is it? Pete Dunn doing? Oh, okay. I've never seen that elbow drop from the second turnbuckle. I mean, Americans go from the top rope, Pete. Just saying. Uh, but it's still big time impactful. It's, it's, you know. it, it, yeah, it was a full four meters, whatever that is. Oh, uh, are we going to see a fifth DDT to the outside? Nope. <laughs> Pete Dunn says, nope. Nope. Not today, Satan. I'm going to DDT you from the second rope. But That's a vicious one. Wait, I'm, I'm going to be honest. That inside part of the ring, it's a little bit softer than where everybody else has been DDTing, but it is not much softer. You don't have a lot Ooh. of give, and that suplex powerbomb, it's got to get a, another point for Pete Dunn. What, did Will Osprey just kick out? He's pit, he pissed off Will Pete Dunn there. He thought I, it was over. I don't, Wayne, I don't think he kicked out because he has not moved. I think the ref... You know, just going to go back to that again. I think the ref just stopped counting. I think that's why Pete Dunn's so mad. I think it was just Will Ospreay just didn't even know what to do. Old crossbody, but Will Ospreay rolling into it. Where is he it. getting this power? Oh, and a big time drop. Oh, you don't see Will Ospreay doing timber slams often, but no. something's about to happen. Is this a... He hit that a move again on Pete Dunn. Could this be the first fall for Will Ospreay? Well, this evened it up. My it God, does. it did. I'm shocked at Pete. Minutes left. 14 minutes left, Wayne. And we are tied one to one. If you put one hand out with a one and another hand out with a one, they look the same, and that's what the score is. Yes, it is. And oh, my. That's the third time we've seen that. And you got to admit, his lower back has got to be feeling the damage now. Pete Dunn seems to be putting a lot more oomph on that drop, too. It's, he's not just letting go. He's driving him down to the ground. Oh, did you see the stomp on the neck? Oh. oh. You don't need a chiropractor. You just got to call Pete Dunn. Right. Oh, a big time running elbow drop. I like that one. Pete Dunn's oh. in control of this match. I don't think Will Ospreay is going to be able to win. And uh, I mean, I think something big's about to come from Pete Dunn, and I think... He's about to sail away with the, these points. Yeah, and you talked about that uh, that that guarded left knee of Will Osprey, and you saw he he done started working on it a little bit. Went right for it. He he's sick of playing. He is, as you would say, he's done. Yeah, Pete Dunn is not even gas, but Will Osprey's feeling the full effects. I mean, I I don't know what 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 had happened with Will. But, uh, oh, he's got a little bit of fight left in him, but, I mean, who knows? He's only going on fumes at this point. He needs a quick win so he can catch his breath. Yes, he does. This could be it, though. Uh, you saw when he was running to Pete Dunn that he's just a little bit slower because of the damage that he has taken throughout this match. And we still got 12 minutes left. I, I don't know if his back's going to hold out. I, I, I see that back giving up real soon. Uh, we'll see. 
Well, you saw Will Ospreay was also holding on to the rib cage a little bit too. I mean, hope hopefully, I'd say hopefully none of these guys get injured. But we th th we're in Chicago. Oh, right? you, you know these people. Hold on. You know these people want to see somebody get hurt. Yes, they do. Uh, and they're not chanting CM Punk. I'm surprised. Um, I'm so glad I hate that. But uh, you know. Pete Dunne would have gotten that victory, Wayne, had he put a lot more pressure on those shoulders. With as injured as Osprey's back is, he wouldn't have kicked out if he put some actual pressure on. But now Pete Dunne is very close to tapping out. But now he's starting to fight out of it. Oh, did you see his face hit the mat? Oh, oh hard kick. Oh, no. What is this? Like, oh, sit, sit down, down. power bomb. Into the cover. I think you let him go. I think you let him go, Wayne. No, I think he's it, going for something big. I don't know. I think Will Ospreay did kick out of that one. Looked oh, like well. he kicked out a little bit. And Pete Dunn is just wearing him down, trying to gas him out a little bit, trying to put some extra pressure on that knee. And, uh-oh. What is this? A triangle choke. Oh, baby. I haven't seen Will Ospreay be able to take that one, but I've never seen that move for Pete Dunn. See, that was that was a smart move for Wayne because not only was he putting some damage to Will, he was giving himself a few seconds of breath so he could get some more energy to cause some pain. Yeah, and if if he hits another top rope maneuver, it might be it and just the punch to the chest and I just mocking Will Ospreay. I mean, do you know how hard you got to punch somebody to make them fall forward, Wayne? You got to punch them pretty damn hard. Yeah, you. you and he punched him right in the chest area. Oh, that might be a, a collapsed sternum. He's going to try it again. Maybe you don't hit him so hard. Oh. Uh, maybe you should have hit him harder. Probably should have hit him harder. Oh, my goodness. Deeper shock DDT. Oh, my God. His head hit so hard. This could be the moment that Will Ospreay needed. We haven't seen a pinfall in a little while. We have just hit the halfway mark. And a Ooh. kick out by Pete I thought Dunn. that was three wing. I uh, thought that was three. Honestly, I did too. This is a physical matchup in the main event. It is. I mean, th their offense started off high octane, but as you can see, just it, it has slowed down so much because they, they're gassing, they're hurting. These British guys have taken it. Uh, you know, I may have talked a little garbage at the beginning, but these British boys are showing a show, and they're proving that they can go. Yeah, they can definitely go. And is this another one of those moves? And he hit it. Is right Pete... on the upper part of the back. Yeah, that could have taken out Pete Dunn there. Could Will Osprey be going for a pinfall after the replay? And he is. This could be it for the second fall. Oh, and he got it. Pete Dunn was hurting. I mean, as you saw before the replay, he went right to holding his back, and he's even holding the upper part of his ribs now. Uh, we we don't know how if there's any broken ribs or any any hemorrhaging in the blood, but he is hurting. Oh man, and yes, he's definitely hurting. But now, I I didn't think Pete Dunn was gonna lose this momentum very quickly, but Will Osprey is on Pete Dunn now. It only takes one hard move and like hey, like a uh, like JBL used to say, everybody's got a plan until they got punched in the face. That is the truth. And, and Pete Dunn had a plan until he got his ribs broken. Yep, and that's, that's the, the truth. truth. And it, may, it might not be too easy to breathe in and out now. And but he's still trying to fight back on the outside. Throwing Will Osprey and just he, he's, he's just, just so, so exhausted, exhausted from being tortured throughout this match. What is Pete Dunn even thinking? Not, not. Did we have to get up again? Oh, into the turnbuckle part. Oh my gosh, this oh. this is pure violence, and I love it. Does this happen every episode of FOW, Wayne? Uh, it, might it might end up, up being, being that, that way because, because look at all these matches have been physically. It's been, been just been a physical match, and now Pete Dunn is working on Will Osprey. And did you see they were coming towards our turnbuckle? I mean, our uh, table. our table, Wayne. You a little nervous? No, calm down, Wayne. I know they're getting too close to us again. 
Look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you very blatantly, Wayne. When I go to YouTube and I search for future wrestling, I feel super safe. I'm like, there's nothing that can happen. But when you get face very close to these guys face to face and oh you see this gosh. action like the feet of the face just now, oh. it is so much different than watching it over YouTube at Future oh. Wrestling on YouTube. You know what I mean, Wayne? Yes, and did you see his skull hit the turnbuckle? <sighs> there was no give to that turnbuckle. Oh my gosh, we need to check Will. I mean, if I was Pete, I'd go for that quick count out because you know Will ain't getting up. And, and he's then going. He, then he just throws him into the turnbuckle again. I mean, he he is out on his feet. He is just it's six minutes, and Pete Dunne, you know you got to get another fall because it's two to one, and you got to keep you can't keep him on the outside, and the referee has not been counting. It seems like this ref is a monster, Wayne. He just wants to see them burn the the city of Chicago down. Yeah, well, he's giving them some leave some leeway I guess and just just torturing and throwing him into the ring I mean this this is this is Pete Dunn's uh, game plan Wayne oh is he going under the ring he's got he's got some instrument in his hand what is it a baseball bat yeah, oh yeah. my oh my gosh not to the lower back and I, I guess there is no rules in this match that's how important this main event is uh, Wayne I guess the ref must have heard something from one of the border commissions and said that it is no disqualification, no count out match. I'm okay with it. Let the, the carnage continue. Yeah, just let it keep going. But Pete Dunn is just annihilating Will Ospreay right now. And he, he needs to get a pin soon. I mean, five minutes left and he is still one behind. He needs to get a quick pin soon. That is the truth. If Will Ospreay starting to fight back, Pete, you need to get this pinfall. It's now or never. You can do all the damage you want. Like I said, there's no countouts, no disqualification. So if I was Will, I'd be smart and just hide on the outside. We got a quick pin. One, two. Oh, oh the kick I, out. Was I thought it was going to get tied. Does Pete have enough left in his gas tank to finish at least get one more win to even this up? I, I just don't know. I mean, five minutes can go so fast in a match. Fifteen minutes gone fast, Wayne. I mean, we've done three of those five minutes at this point and it has gone by super fast and Pete Dunn has only gotten one win. Yeah, well Osprey's got, what is this on the top? Oh no, Pete, you don't want to do this. Think of your oh ribs. Oh my gosh! Oh, and he landed right on the ribs, Wayne. Oh, Pete oh. must want this win, I tell you. Is it worth it though? He needs it. Oh, and there he goes. He's gonna hit it. He may have kicked out of it earlier, but I don't think he's kicking out of this one. No, especially after going off the top rope uh -huh. like that, and it's tied up. Just like that, we got a tied ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, Whew. Definitely. Tell you, these next four minutes are going to be just non-stop action, and let's see who the better man is. Pete Dunn with a quick... Oh, no, he says he is not done yet, but he... Oh, he, he maybe he should have just... He should have kept the pin, Wayne. I was thinking the exact same thing. Yep, because uh, you saw he was holding on to that lower back. But now Pete Dunn, it looks like he's going to focus on that neck again. Gosh, I feel it like clear over here. I'm feeling it now. Oh, uh, uh, man, I tell you, is Will Ospreay sponsored by Icy Hot? Because he is going to need some. Yep, Ice, he's going to need, like... Still has me. enough for Hammer Lock DDT, though. Pete Dunn looks out. He is a ragdoll. Yes, and if Will Osprey gets a third pinfall, this could be a scary situation for Pete Dunn. And not Pete only Dunn, not, oh my. I tell you, especially this close to the end, Wayne, it, you had a fight to get your last pinfall to tie it up. But you're gonna let, if you're gonna let that guy go up one on you after that, I mean that's gonna take all the wind out of your sails. Yeah, and, and the momentum it needs to shift back. I think Pete Dunn needs to focus. Well, he's still focusing on that neck. But he needs a pen. Both men need a, a pen because we're uh, two minutes and 47 seconds. Oh, look at that hurricanrana. Oh, that is a beaut. Two minutes, 35 seconds left, and it's still tied up. Yeah, unlike the NFL, we're not doing a two-minute warning. We're going to keep going till the oh. end. Now, Wayne, if this does end up going in, uh, to zero with a tied score, is there overtime set up? Is there a sudden death? Yes, there is a sudden death in this. So 20. there must be a winner, ladies and gentlemen. There's got to be a winner. 
The but you know that's that's two minutes from now. We got action now, and there might be a pin right now. One, two. I don't see him kicking oh out. My oh my gosh! That's it's, that that's not good for Pete Dunn. For two Pete, minutes left, and now he's just his his soul is crushed, Wayne. He's I got mean, to he's got to he's got to to win this match. He's got to hit two pinfalls in a minute and fifty seconds. Can he do that? Oh, uh, Wayne. I mean. Pete should just give up. He knows it's over. He he doesn't have what it takes to beat Will, and uh, uh, you know I wouldn't blame him for just leaving now. Just leave Chicago. I don't know where your next city is for FOW, oh, but God. just get there early because you know he's done. Will's playing the smart oh, move and rolling yes. out. That that's not good for Pete Dunn. Well, Will's right or not Will? I'm sorry. Pete is right out there chasing him, and with, uh, with a minute and 19 seconds left. I, I don't think Pete Dunn can do... Oh, step up Instagurry there. Does he have enough to get a pinfall, though? You saw what Pete Dunn did, too. He actually used that left leg of Will Ospreay to step on the knee. And he's going for this. Oh, could that be it? He said that several times in the match. 55 seconds left in a pinfall. Oh, oh my I thought gosh. that was it. Oh. Oh my gosh, this, this, is, this is insane last minute. This this is what we live for as commentators, Wayne. Uh, just the non-stop action, the quick counts, the close pinfalls. Oh, here it comes. He is this not be, kicking out of this. Is he really going to tie this up with 33 seconds left? This is insane. Pete oh. Dunn is money. Oh, he's going for it again. He's going to go, go for it again, again. Wayne. He's going for the win, Wayne. He's Wait. Going. Do you see this, Wayne? No. Somebody cut the stupid replay. It was amazing. Yes, we saw it. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Oh my gosh. Twenty-three seconds. Can, Can he do it, Wayne? Referee needs to get there. Get your ref in position, Wayne. And he's got the fourteen seconds left, Wayne. Wayne, thirteen I seconds can't left. He done did this, Wayne. I knew he was gonna do it, Wayne. He's going for some more, Wayne. Wayne. Wayne, Pete Dunn is my boy. I've been saying this since the beginning. No need for another pin, uh, Pete boy. You got this. Take this win back to, to England. Save it for the Queen. You did it, my man. Pete Dunn wins. Oh, my God. That last minute was a shocker. Wow. Two pinfalls in a minute and a half. What a what a fight. What a, what a win by Pete Dunn. I am shocked by that. He was literally down two falls. And within like I would say like 28 seconds, I think. Oh, amazing! Such quick, quick progression of those moves, and he just hit back to back, and it was just too much for Will Ospreay. I guess Will Ospreay can go back to Canada with his loss. Uh, well, you just were just saying earlier that you know Will Ospreay ha had it in the bag, and now all of a sudden, now that Pete Dunne won this main event match, you're on his bandwagon. No, 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 that, that wasn't me, Wayne. No, I was I was pure pa Pete Dunn. Let me guess, you're a Patriots fan now, too. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Yeah, all right. Well, hey, uh, you've wasted enough of my time, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Uh, don't call my phone again. What?